Oh, Bordy, you can't go around groping women. Why not? The birds seem to love it. Birds? Seriously? Listen to yourself, Bodie. You're a misogynistic dinosaur. You should be extinct. You keep behaving inappropriately. This shall be taken off. And I'm not going back to period drama. Listen, it's the same on every job we do. If there's a pretty girl, you end up somehow on top of her having a grope. You have no respect for women. I respect women, especially the pretty ones with perfectly formed bosoms. Unbelievable. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> no! Agnatha! Fuck off! Stay away! <laughs> right, come here. I'll give you, give you, give you a man after me. <laughs> Where's the puppies? <laughs> Imagine how you'd feel if you were a woman. I'd never leave the house, mate. I'd be touching myself. Oh, it's simple, Bodhi. Women deserve the same rights you have. Just get in touch with your feminine side. I got a perm. And now you look like a cunt. Cowley? Yes? Where? Right. There's a maniac with a gun, so what are you waiting for? Go on, fuck off. Whoa, 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 slow down, Grandad. What do you mean, Grandad? Disabled parking's over there. Who's he calling fucking disabled? It's because you're driving a rover. Oh, stop going on about that fucking Capri. Right. There you go, Grandad. Fuck off. You all right? I'm Bodie. This is Doyle, the one with the perm. Nice. Also the one with the fucking gun, remember? Right, there he is over there. Right, let's have a... Uh... Hang on. Is that the blonde from Abba? Oh, yeah. Wow. I like them. They write some catchy songs. Well, in one hand, he's got a Webley 44. And, ooh la la, in the other hand, he's holding a 38B cup. A what? Yeah, I'll have a look for yourself. He's got his hand on a tit having a group. Jesus, do you think you're related? So how come you got one of Abba here? What's the backstory? I don't know, I didn't read the script, but I do know that's Michael Hunt, a former patient. Mm, an unfortunate name? Yep. Ah, that's bad. It reminds me of The Simpsons. Has anybody seen Mike Hunt? <laughs> and what's the better than he's got a mate called Dan Gleibitz? Anyway, what was the info? He was a psychiatric patient, obsessed with, um... Abba? I can see you're the brains. Abba's not just about songs, it's the fucking crumpet from Sweden. Michael! Mike Hunt! Seriously, is that his name? I told you. It might be a wind-up. Well, the lads were laughing when they told me. Really? Oh. You don't say. Yo, with the gun! You're amongst friends! Now and again, we all like a little bit of Abba. But the bitch you've got hold of is wrong. Even though perfectly formed. Fuck's sake, can't we just shoot him and get it over with? You got another perm booked in. Can I just remind you? My report could easily state you got shot with friendly fire, you cock. All right, keep your curly hair on. It looks like Dr. Sphincter's arrived. He's the resident psychologist. Michael Hunt, yes. His real name, I remember him well. He was referred to me a couple of years ago with a fixation. It was over, um, Abba, if I remember. Why? I mean, out of all the groups he could like, why choose Abba? What's wrong with Fleetwood Mac? I'm more of a Gary Glitter fan. Mm hmm <sighs> But at the end of the day, I did my best. I couldn't cure him. He's obviously still a maniac. So I'd suggest shoot him. You don't want to help him? I'm rich and successful. Why should I? Fuck, this script's lame. Yep. Always is. That's why I'm working on my own movie screenplay, so I can get out. It's... It's called Who Dares Wins. That's a good name, actually. Look, I've got some money. I'd be happy to invest in a project. No, to... Doctor. It'll be shit. Better than playing a judge. Can you get me a white coat? Hmm? His doctors would have worn a white coat. Yes, a few times during an anal probe. You probed him over a fixation. I probe all my patients. I bet you fucking do. Right. Now you see that fucker down there? He's going down, but I'm going to need a white coat. Right. Hmm. I've got an idea. Thank you.
Now you also look a twat. <laughs> How rude. If her boobs are as pert as I think they are, I'm going to have a little fondle. As I fall over. Of course, yeah, trip. accidentally fall over. Uh, it's one of the perks of the job. I can't help it, I like. Boobs. So her blouse looks tight. I might have to cut it off. Bowdy, I love boobs. Yes, I bloody know. Well, that's all right then. The report will say I stumbled and fell on her. You'll back me up. Mike Hunt, I'm a doctor. Really? And I'm coming out now. Please don't shoot me. I'm wearing a white coat. Love you. Love you. Here I come, Michael. It's good to see you again. I see you're still into ABBA. They did well at Eurovision, don't you think? Maybe I could interest you in an anal probe. Stay there, I'm coming. Oh, you'll give us a hot. Let me get some air into you. Oh, I fell over. Oh, let's just get rid of that bit of jizz. <laughs> hmm. There. <laughs> Everything all right, Bailey? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you'll have a story to tell the rest of the band, won't you, miss? That the very kind Dr Bodie, our resident gynaecologist, <laughs> gave you a free examination. Thanks, Doyle. <laughs>